So here we are, and uh, here I am in Puerto Verde, here with family on vacation, and uh, just thought I'd do uh, a little post to tell you how uh, my day's been going. Uh, we've been here a couple days now. Uh, weather's been great. Um, taking a few pictures, of course, floating around. There's definitely photo ops everywhere. Uh, it's been a little cloudy, so I wanted to try to do some star trails at night, but I honestly don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, it's either got to clear up a little bit the resorts are putting off a lot of light, so I don't know if I'll be able to expose well for the sky without overcompensating for the light around. So star trails are supposed to be done outside of the city where there's no light. Uh, I might have problems with that. But what I did get to do was do a nice time lapse throughout the day. So uh, I set up my camera on a tripod. We're on the fifth floor of, uh, of our hotel. And basically I started it at 10 o'clock in the morning and it went till about 10 o'clock at night and it shot a photo uh, every minute. Um, I used one of these. Uh, you kind of need to have something like this, especially if you're shooting a Canon camera. So this is a intervalometer uh, or basically a remote. Uh, and this, this will connect, I don't know how well you can see that, but this will connect to the, to the camera. Um, this basically allows me to do a couple things. It allows me to set up a timer. Um, it allows me to set up how often it's going to shoot, so the intervals that it's going to shoot. And of course, I had to shoot for once every minute, and it would go indefinitely until either the card ran out or I told it to stop. Uh, or you can set it to shoot based on, I think it's exposure time. Um, so I basically had to just shoot a minute. I set my camera to uh, aperture priorities, so I set it at, I think it was something like, uh, F8 or F9 uh, and let the camera deal with the actual shutter speed throughout the day. Um, so anyway, here's here's the the clip that it turned out. Uh, I used Final Cut. Basically, I took all these clips, figured out what I wanted it to be. So I wanted it to be about you know 24 frames a second. So I did basic math, you know, one divided by 24, and I got somewhere in the range of 0 0.04 seconds. So 0 0.04 of a second. So basically I set that inside Final Cut that that would be what the time was for each still frame that came in, dragged a lot of them into Final Cut's time, timeline, and uh, this is what we came out with. So enjoy, uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos while I'm down here, and uh, if not, we'll, we'll talk to you again.